five foods you must avoid and the healthy alternatives. Loving the health benefits of a lectin-free diet, but missing some of your favorite foods? I know, I've been there. The good news is that there are healthy, delicious alternatives for just about every lectin-rich food. I'll start with the one I get asked about the most, peanut butter. Peanut butter happened to be one of my favorite personal foods before I got on the right path for my diet. Now, you may love peanut butter, and you may think it's healthy, but as far as I can soon, you can call it lectin butter, because it's made with one of the most absolute worst ingredients for your health, peanuts. Believe it or not, peanuts are actually a bean. That's right, a bean, not a nut. And as you know, legumes are lectin bombs. And peanuts are no exception. They're incredibly high in dangerous lectins. In fact, 94% of human beings carry a preformed antibody against the peanut lectin. But peanut butter is actually really easy to ditch. So swap it out for walnut butter, hazelnut butter, tahini, which is sesame seed butter, pistachio butter, or if you want the closest thing and you're not sensitive to almonds, look for peeled almond butter. You can find it, it's on uh, the internet, uh, it's in some grocery stores, but look for the word peeled almond butter. Now, there are other nut and seed butters out there. Cashew butter is a lectin bomb. Sunflower seed butter is a lectin bomb. Just because it has the word nut or seed doesn't make it a safe substitute for peanut butter. Now, if you want your nut butter to taste a little more peanuttier, just whisk in a couple of drops of coconut aminos to boost that savory flavor. You won't even miss or remember peanut butter once you switch. All right, next up, regular or diet soda. Well, regular soda has a whopping 39 grams of sugar. One can of soda increases your risk of having a heart attack by 20% if you have one can a day. It's addicting, as anybody knows. It makes you gain weight like crazy. I, I would know. Now, I know what you're thinking. Diet soda has to be healthier than regular soda, right? Wrong. Artificial sweeteners, particularly the ones found in diet soda, like aspartame and sucralose, are absolutely terrible for your health. Duke University showed one packet of Splenda, sucralose, kills off 50% of the bacteria in your gut, gut microbiome. They change this bacteria into bacteria that actually promote weight gain. Plus, remember, Diet soda increases your risk of developing diabetes by 67%. Why? One of the problems with diet soda is you have sugar, you have no sugar taste buds, you have sweet taste buds. In the good old days, the only way you tasted sugar was if you ate fruit or honey. Your brain anticipates sugar arriving in your bloodstream after it tastes sweet. And when sugar doesn't arrive in your bloodstream, when you use an artificial sweetener, your brain assumes you've been cheated and actually sends you back looking for more. That's why when I was drinking eight Diet Cokes a day, and I was, I was constantly hungry and constantly eating and gaining weight because my brain was telling me to go find the stuff I was lacking. Now there's a great alternative that I've made popular. It's my healthy soda recipe. You take some San Pellegrino or other sparkling water. You take a shot, a couple tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Try to get the aged balsamic vinegar and you mix them together. Squeeze in a fresh lime. You're going to have a fantastic fake Coke that will get you through. I think it's great fun when you're out at a restaurant, ask the waiter to bring you some San Pellegrino or other sparkling water and ask for the balsamic vinegar. It's there. 
and amaze your friends by pouring your balsamic vinegar into the San Pellegrino. You watch, everybody at the table will ask to do that. And they'll go, oh my gosh, I had no idea how good this was. And people in the restaurant will come over and go, what are you guys doing? It's, it's great fun. How about rice and pasta? Well, grains are one of the most inflammatory foods out there because you guessed it, they're loaded with lectins. And whole grains are even worse for you than regular grains. Grains and starch turn into sugar in your body. Now there's some great rice alternatives. Millet, millet is a wonderful rice alternative. Sorghum, not the sweetener, but the grain. It has no hulls, neither millet nor sorghum have hulls. There's a great little millet called Fornio. And if you like cream of wheat, Fornio makes a great replacement for cream of wheat. Cauliflower rice. You can get cauliflower rice in most grocery stores now. You can get cauliflower rice from Gundry MD. And Miracle Rice is konjac based and it's a great rice alternative. Now there's plenty of pasta alternatives. There are shirataki noodles. Gundry MD makes our own konjac shirataki noodles. Green, big green millet noodles are great. Jovial cassava pastas are great. And I'm particularly impressed with Gundry MD sorghum spaghetti. It has that mouthfeel that you're looking for in traditional wheat-based pastas, but none of the lectins and none of the guilt. Greek yogurt. Unfortunately, Greek yogurt is out of the question. Greek yogurt does not come from Greece, folks. Greek yogurt is merely yogurt that's been allowed the water to drip out, so the protein content is higher. But the cow's milk yogurt sold in this country as Greek yogurt is made from casein A1 producing cows. Casein A1 in most people is a very harmful protein that can seriously damage your gut. And interestingly, most people who think they're lactose intolerant are actually intolerant to casein A1 proteins. So what if you're just one of those people who craves yogurt for breakfast? What can you do? Well, go to the regular old yogurt section in your grocery store and look for goat's milk yogurt, sheep's milk yogurt, buffalo milk yogurt, or if you're in the mood for a vegan option, coconut yogurt. Always look for unsweetened. Even the vanilla yogurt, which doesn't sound like a fruit yogurt, has lots of added sugar. If you want to flavor it, then get yourself some flavoring drops. Get yourself some vanilla extract. Get yourself some uh, easy to use drops of flavoring with stevia. Uh, and you can make any flavor goat, sheep, or coconut yogurt you want. Now you won't have any trouble finding these yogurt substitutes. They're in almost all of our grocery stores. Trader Joe's makes a great goat yogurt. A lot of my patients love. So look for these alternatives. Beans, beans are incredibly lectin heavy. Now, the good news is with beans, it's possible to reduce the lectins by pressure cooking. So if you've got a pressure cooker, if you've got an Instapot, put it to use. If not, look for Eden brand or Jovial brand beans. They come in non-BPA containers. Jovial is an all glass, Eden is in a non-BPA can, and they're pressure cooked ahead of time, so the work's taken away. But if you're looking for a completely non-bean alternative, look no further than pine nuts. And you can easily find pine nuts at Trader Joe's. You can get a huge bag at Costco. Did you know that if you soak pine nuts in a liquid, like water or chicken stock, they get a texture similar to beans. In fact, pine nuts cooked in a traditional chili have almost the exact same texture as beans. It's really uncanny. And pine nuts will actually give you all these great healthy fats 
And there are really cool studies that show that pine nut consumption can actually help you lose weight. So, substitute pine nuts whenever you've got that beany craving, and you'll see there's some really good benefits. This next one is sure to surprise you. Roughly 73% of the U.S. population with public water access is receiving water fortified with fluoride. 